There is no doubt that in the Brian Laundrie case that the Laundries went through quite a lot. Protesters outside and media outside for weeks and weeks and weeks on the end for them to, to not right come in. out and ho, ho. say anything to the media because that is their rights not to have to speak to the public, according to Stephen Bertinelli, their attorney who was speaking on their behalf. Trying to get away from protesters and accidentally drove down the wrong side of the road. Hey, 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 me on the block, block, baby, block, baby, what? Kill me on the block, block, baby. Bitch, 32 shot, glock, baby, block, baby, what? 32 shot, glock, baby, baby. Kill me on the block, block, baby, block, baby. YouTuber that actually witnessed that and was driving and Mr. Laundry had seen them and just, I guess, panicked and went down the wrong side of the road and sped off. He was followed everywhere. They had no privacy if they went to stores, if they went anywhere, even to their mailbox. So in this clip, courtesy of Jay for Justice asking for an FOIA, I'm going to just show you portions of it. Please go to her channel and watch the full video. Document what they were doing to cause that. Yeah, that he's getting out of his car. I don't So this also gives us time for them to get away a little bit. Would you be going to my house? Off. Probably. No, man. I mean, I'd like to stay by myself, but I, I don't know how crazy this guy is. I saw him out in front of the house, and he, he was definitely out of town. He definitely tries to push the boundaries. Yeah. This is just not going to run well for me. It's not going to run well. It's going to be on YouTube. Imagine that's like someone's calling the fire department coming at 3 in the morning. You know, because they just made a fake, whoever they were, a phone fake alert, you know. And they showed up, and they showed up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then now they haven't come back, but I don't know. They, they, they were at our address, everything. So people do stuff every day to us. I came into my phone. They keep sending the fire to your house? Well, they did twice. For no reason? Yeah, when, when was the last time they did that? It was the day before yesterday. Twice. Three you in the morning. Call us. Call us for that. It was, that was, that was, that was but no, nobody, we didn't call it in. Right, but if people are calling for harassment reasons, it's... Like I could I could give you, I could give you 100 to 300 to 400. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, right. so, the, so the situation today is totally different than what the other situations. When, no, it's, when it's, it's causing your safety to be put in, in you know, it's, it's completely different than outside yelling, you know, you know, ridiculous things. Okay? okay, that's what that's why today we're able to detain them. All right, when it causes you to, because you have to drive on the wrong side of the road. I don't know if you know knew that I or did. not. I didn't know I did it, but I did do it because you're so scared, yeah. which is a, a reasonable thing because these that's why people it's are, dangerous. you know. 
Yeah, and that's why we rose to this level today where we're actually going to do a criminal report for the harassment, okay, and allow you to get their contact information in that report so you can go file for that protection order. Okay? What's a good contact number for you? How much do you weigh? And uh, green eyes, blue eyes? Colors your hair? Alright, hang time, I'll get a statement form for you, okay? Okay, so pretty self explanatory. Basically, everything you just gave me. Don't worry about the case number, I'll, I'll get that for you here in a second. Um, just starting here. And ending here, if you need another one, let me know. Don't write on the back. Everything that just happened. When you noticed them, what they did, how it made you in fear, all of those things, okay? And then I will get you a business card with my case number on that. Nonsense like that. Um, okay, do me a favor. Initial the top right here. And the bottom of your statement, and then sign it. Right there, yeah. And then, can you raise your right hand for me? Swear everything in the statement is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. and I'll write this up and like the detective said we'll follow up with you. If for some reason they show up at your house and continue the nonsense, just give us a call. If you feel like your life's in danger and it meets an emergency, call 911. If not, just the uh, non-emergency number. Do you know that one? Yeah. Should be 429 7300. It'll be on my card. Let me get that for you. I underlined it for you. The case number is on the back. Okay. It's four two nine seven three zero zero. All right. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. Call us if you need us, okay? I'm going to the post office. I'm not going to go there. I've got to find Like I said, if for some reason they start doing the same thing, give us a call. If they're bothering you like they are, 911 is a perfect option. Okay? All right. Okay. Yep. Have a good day, sir. Have a good one. I'm just going to play a very short clip from a YouTuber who was a protester down there in her own words of what she did standing outside the laundry's house. Like Miguel Guerrero over there, ringing the doorbell, knocking on the door, hello! And like, are we, are we yelling at an empty house over here? I'm the one, okay, that was outside, caught on tape and put all over the news where I said, this house should be burnt down. Number one, the house should be burnt down because it's gross. Number two, that'll get you out. That's what I said. What does it take to get these people out of their house and answer questions and cooperate? Fine, you have your rights, but like I said, I have my rights. And when you have threats as what she is saying, that can be a pretty scary thing. So you have an understanding of why maybe the laundries were kind of intimidated or frightened in regards to these particular protesters outside their home 
making these types of idle threats. I know that if I was stuck in my house and somebody was doing that, I wouldn't know if I could sleep at night. Yeah, it is noisy, Adrian. First of all, no signs of Brian Laundry, but let me show you. We're right outside the house, and this is what happens bright and early out here. You have people who come out with megaphones. They get on the megaphones, they point them at the laundry house, and they shout at the parents, and they want the parents to start cooperating with the FBI uh, and law enforcement. They'll do this every single hour this morning. In lieu of all of these protests outside of the private homes, the Florida law now has banned protests. In lieu of all of these protests outside of the private homes, the Florida law now has banned protests. And it's under Bill 1571 and to ending the ability of protesters to demonstrate at a private residence. The bill will provide a warning to picketers and protesters outside their home and arrests be made only if the person does not peaceably disperse after warning and the charge would be a second degree misdemeanor. Mm -hmm.